be from agitation, Southeast governors under attack for wearing northern attires. Masab has frowned at the gestures of ceased governors in a bid to maintain peace and decorum in Nigeria. The pro-Biafra group recently lashed out at the governors from donning House native attires at public functions. Masab says the act raises dust as regards the ability of the governors to appropriately represent the interests of Igbos. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masab, has said that there is nothing patriotic about Igbo governors wearing Hausa, Fulani attires to public functions. Masab made the assertion in a communique issued on Wednesday, June 21. Akinamadu, leader of Masab berated the governors of Ebony and Benugu states, Dave Amai and Ifni Yudwu and Yud, respectively for putting on Hausa, Fulani attire at the recent meeting between Igbo leaders and the acting president, Professor Yemi Osinbejo, at the presidential villa. Madu said the dressing was not proper as such a crucial meeting when the worries of the Igbos were to be tabled. He stressed that that singular act had cast doubt on their, ceased governors, ability to represent the interests of the Igbo. Driving his point home, Madu observed that no Hausa, Fulani governor would ever appear in public with an Igbo attire. Masab also faulted the federal government for leaving out leaders of the pro Biafra groups in discussions with Igbo leaders over the agitation for Biafra and the attendant quit ultimatum issued to Igbos in the north by some northern groups. Madu noted that the activists, particularly leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Numdi Kanyu, should have been at the meeting. The Masab leader claimed the governors and other political, traditional, religious and opinion leaders that met with the acting president Tosin Bajo were not actually in charge in Igblin. In a similar vein, Governor Rakaza Koroka of Imo has advised the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipa, to desist from agitating for secession, saying the Igbos were not ready for another civil war. Akoroka gave the advice at a news briefing at the government house in Oeri on Tuesday, June 13, the news agency of Nigeria reports. He also urged Masab and other Nigerians in diaspora, drumming support for the actualization of Biafra, to stop. Akoroka called on Igbo youths to calm down and redirect their agitation toward the actualization of economic advancement of Igbos rather than asking for a new sovereign nation. On the recent sit-at-home ordered by Ipob and Masab, he said the exercise succeeded because the people, especially traders wanted to avoid trouble. He described the statement by the Eruwa youths directing Igbos to leave the north as nonsensical and inciting. The governor said that Igbos were peaceful people, who had come a long way in contributing to the economic development of the country, adding that no other ethnic group had contributed as much. He called for reorientation of youths to repair the broken political relations between the North and the East and end the existing hatred and division between them. <laughs>